Hello oh, and welcome to Red Oak, Aaron West, Derek O'Neill, and Melanie West. Derek, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? You ready for ready for some volleyball? I'm always ready for volleyball. You are fired up. You come into the booth here, the media booth, fired up and ready to go every time. I, you know, it's Aaron. something I kind of kind of enjoy and yeah, hanging out with you and well, who wouldn't enjoy that? Watching some awesome volleyball. What exactly. More, I mean, what more can you ask for? for I real? know exactly. So, Derek, we are live. On KCSI, 95.3, online at kcsifm.com, or on the app. You can download that, or you can watch on our YouTube channel. And I think our stream is up and going at the moment over on KCSI Radio, so you can watch it, it there, it, too. It is an amazing stream, too, thanks to, to Melanie for kind of covering the whole court. And it's amazing. Multiple cameras. Yeah. What do yeah. you got? Are you up to six cameras, Mel, or how many cameras? Seven. Seven, seven tonight. Cameras. Yeah. Seven. Only seven tonight? A seven camera operations yeah. Watch tonight. close, people. Watch close. So, Derek, uh, the Red Oak Tigers coming into this game. Lewis Central coming into this game. I don't know for sure where you want to start here. Let me. You know what? Before we get into that, let's just go ahead and quick read, because we've already had some really good volleyball here. Yes, we have. Tonight, uh, in freshman play, Red Oak comes out on top in two, 25-14, 25-23. And I will mention that junior varsity game was pretty intense. And uh, Red Oak ends up winning two sets to one. It was Red Oak 25, I'm sorry, 23, 25, 25, 21, 15, 11. Red Oak wins in two or two to one in junior varsity play. And it was a pretty hard fought, good varsity or good junior varsity volleyball game. I would say. It was good. I mean, I think uh, <clears throat> going to that third set, anytime you do that, you know, you know you're know, you particularly in a JV game, you're going to – you're scrapping and you're you're getting some good volleyball action in and everything. So Absolutely. So Red Oak wins both, but it goes, it goes to three sets in junior varsity play, and it was a pretty exciting uh, junior varsity game here this evening. We're going to take a break, Derek, and we will come back and uh, have you bring us up to date with some – Hawkeye 10 rankings, and uh, then a preview of the tonight's volleyball game here in Red Oak this evening. Now we're still opening serve is going to be about 7:15, approximately 7:15. So, I think it's right at 7:15. So if you, it's right <laughs> on the the stop. They'll have to watch out. Right I think in. they got Mr. they get Vern timed with the national anthem for they, the flyover uh, and starting right <laughs> at 7:15. The flyover is just before Vern or just during the last few. During courses. the last, you know, oh, that's yeah. how they do that. Yeah. Okay. We're going to take a break. We'll come back and we'll visit about view of tonight's uh, game, and we will be back here in Red Oak. What I guess I was going to say before you talked about Vern and the flyover, if you're in the Red Oak area, you really have time to come down and watch the volleyball. Yeah, pink out. You know, they're they're uh, wearing the pink jerseys tonight and the T-shirts, and the crowd is great. and. Uh, all those things. So yeah. come on down to the Orange Gym <laughs> and watch some good volleyball here in Red Oak this evening. So we'd invite everyone to come down. We're going to take a break and we will be back after these messages. One play can change the momentum in a game, and one deductible is a game changer when it comes to your insurance. That's why you should see me, Richard Fisher, your Farm Bureau agent in Red Oak. I can help bring your car and home together in a single policy. So if life sends you a blitz in the form of a storm or fire, you'll pay just one deductible for everything that's covered. Come see how we can help protect what matters most. That's Richard Fisher down at Farm Bureau Financial Services across from the post office here in Red Oak. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. If they're green.
Hawkeye Ford in Red Oak is all new and better than ever. I'm Mike Utz, the new general sales manager. We boosted our inventory and expanded our dedicated sales and service teams while retaining the familiar faces you trust. Buying, selling, or trading, we've got you covered. Experience the fresh selection of cars and top-notch service at Hawkeye Ford in Red Oak. Discover more at HawkeyeFord.com. Red Oak this evening, it's Red Oak and Lewis Central, the Titans and the Tigers here this evening. The Tigers were in a tournament this past weekend. Derek, tell me about that. Yes, they were up at uh, Tri-Center, and they came out victorious, only dropping one set all day long. Uh, they beat IKM Manning, Tri-Center, Lawton Brosson, and Atlantic all two to nothing, and then went three sets, two to one, with Westwood, again, coming out on top and, and helping the record out there. So that was a good tournament for them. They looked really good and, and uh, played very well. So a good uh, winning weekend for the Red Oak Tigers. The um, rankings, Derek, there are no new state rankings as far as volleyball. They're released on Thursday. But Hawkeye 10 rankings, where are we at there? Yeah, the you know, last Thursday there was a good match there between Lewis Central and Kemper Catholic. Uh, Lewis Central came out on top, so they are the, the sole uh, placeholder of the top position here in the Hawkeye 10 at the moment with seven conference wins and no losses, followed by Glenwood. Five conference wins, one loss. Kemper Catholic at seven conference wins, two losses. Red Oak sits in the fourth spot, five and two in the conference, followed by St. Albert, Clarinda, Harlan, Shenandoah, Atlantic, Denison, and Creston bringing up the, the rear of the conference there. So that is updated as of last Thursday. Okay. And, uh, you know, Tigers have a chance to mess with that maybe a little bit here tonight against the Lewis Central uh, Titans probably coming into the tonight's game and on paper Derek I would say probably the Titans the favorite to win but you got to play the game and I've seen some really good volleyball between these teams in the past absolutely and as uh, anything as anything goes when you're talking Hawkeye Hawkeye 10 volleyball you know any team any night uh, you know they're going to come out and play to play to win this isn't uh, this isn't you know something something to take lightly for sure by either one of these teams all right, Derek, uh, if you look at the matchup between these two teams, what do you see? Uh, looking at the bound preview, team stats, season leaders, Lewis Central assists five per set um, with Haley Erickson, uh, Merced Ramirez at 4.6 per set for the Tigers. Kills Brooke Larson, uh, 2.9 per set uh, with Lewis Central, Marley Gray, 2.5 for the Tigers. Total blocks we have uh, Maddie Rowan fell 0.7 per set uh, for the Titans. The Tigers, Carly Jenkins at 0.3. Diggs, Nicole Bond edges at four digs per set over Addison Holt for Lewis Central at 3.1 per set. Serve aces almost dead even. Percentage is 0.9 uh, uh, aces per set there. Um, 0.4 aces per set for Merced and 0.7 for Brooke Larson on the Titans. From a team uh, stat standpoint, Titans edge the Tigers in assists per set at 10.2 versus 9.5. Kills per set, again, they just edged the Tigers at 11.1 to our 10.2. Kill attempts per set, that's almost dead even. 27.7 for the Titans, 27.6 for the Tigers. Total blocks, um, again, Lewis Central over the Tigers. 154 total team blocks to R67, so that's something we're going to have to look yeah. out for tonight. And when we've looked at the rosters, you know they've got some they've got some tall girls out there out there on the court. Uh, digs per set, the Tigers edge the Titans 14.1 to their 13.1. Um, serve aces per set. This is another category where it looks like they they are very good serving. Um, they have 3.1 serve aces per set to the Tigers 1.8. Uh, serve successes, again, the Titans just barely edging the Tigers, 18.7 to our 17.4. Serve attempts per set, again, 21.4 for the Titans, 19.5 for the Tigers, and the Tigers edge out in serve efficiency at 89.3% versus 87.1 for the Titans. Both teams are on a, when you look at the last five matches, both teams are on a 5-0 win streak uh, with the 
Lewis Central having a tournament this weekend that they were victorious in. Historically, Lewis Central takes, uh, you know, over the past 10 years uh, and longer, they're 13 and nine in historical matchups with the data found on, on Bound, having beaten the Tigers last year three to nothing. Then the Tigers were on a good run from 2018 to 2021 being victorious and then it's kind of back and forth uh, from 2017 on, on there. Looking at the power stats, this is something new I've quoted a couple times here on the radio. Lewis Central, uh, a 4A school in the conference. They are 7-0 against other 4A schools. They are 4-0 against competition that's got a record of 500 and above. They are 12-2 with teams that have a record of 500 and lower. They are 9-0. Their point differential is 5.7 points uh, per set there. For the Tigers, a 3A school in the conference, they are 4-2. And, and are against other 3A schools, we are 4-0. and oh. uh, Against teams with a record of above 500, it's 8-8. Eight and, eight, and below 500, we're 12-0. and oh. Our point differential is 2.7. So that's kind of a look at the, the power stats there uh, and the overall matchup. So... You know, I'm really hoping for a really good game tonight, statistically, um, with the Titans at a 22-2 and record and the Tigers at a 20-9 at a and record. We've had a couple more, couple more games than they have, so that might skew the stats just a little bit. But otherwise, I'm expecting a good game. Um, they're full of seniors, one junior uh, that, that gets some, reg two juniors that get some regular plates, playing time, and only one underclassman on the entire roster. So... Um, they're they're experienced um, and they're tall. Yeah. With most of their starting rotation uh, coming in taller than you know our tallest players on the on the Tiger side there. So should be. Uh, I guess we're hoping for a good volleyball game here tonight. Through the years, we have seen some really good ones through the years between these two clubs. So should be a lot of fun. We're going to take a break, and we will come back. It's Red Oak and Lewis Central upcoming varsity play in just a few minutes. Again, the opening serve will be about. 7:15 here this evening so we'd invite you to if you're anywhere in the Red Oak area come on down quick for over 50 years Heinlein home furnishings have served customers in Missouri and Iowa with our large in-stock selection or our custom order program our no pressure sales and delivery team is always available to help you find items that'll make your home look beautiful with over 80,000 feet of gorgeous furniture and flooring check out one of our three locations today Maryville Missouri or Harlan and Shenandoah Iowa Heinlein is here to help our neighbors have beautiful homes. Well, I keep thinking we're going to be. Stadium 34 in Red Oak proudly serving delicious food and drinks to all of Sunshine Country. From your favorite craft beer with a burger to a perfectly grilled ribeye steak and a glass of wine. They have a great selection on their menu. Stadium 34 also serves breakfast Saturday and Sunday mornings. And if you need a space for a wedding reception, anniversary party, family reunion, or birthday party, Stadium 34 has the perfect banquet space for a large or small event. Call today to book your party. That's Stadium 34 at the Red Coach Inn on Senate Avenue in Red Oak. Doing the stats, I yeah. can tell it. Yeah. it. It did that one other time this year. And... Hey Sunshine Country, it's Cheryl Porter. Do you like your job? How would you like to love your job? Fresco System USA is looking for several highly motivated workers to join our team. Come see me at 2026 Fernwood Avenue in Red Oak or call 712-623-8100 extension 6659 and we can talk about everything we offer like benefits starting day one and so much more. So if you're ready to love your job, come see me today at Fresco System USA. Hey Sunshine Country, it's Cheryl Porter. Do you like your job? How would you like to love your job? Fresco System USA is looking for several highly motivated workers to join our team. Come see me at 2026 Fernwood Avenue in Red Oak or call 712-623-8100 extension 6659 and we can talk about everything we offer like benefits starting day one and so much more. So if you're ready to love your job, come see me today at Fresco System USA. FM is technically licensed to Velisca. 
Too busy at work to wait in a long line at Subway? Order online at order.subway.com. Simply register with your email and password and order away. You can also download the Subway app on your smartphone. Order up to six subs, salads, or pizza. Ready in 15 minutes once order is submitted. Also add chips, cookies, and drinks easily. And Subway's back to normal hours Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Order online at Subway in Red Oak, Clorinda, Shenandoah. Red Oak Orange Gym, Red Oak and Lewis Central, the Tigers and the Titans here this evening. Thoughts on tonight's game, tonight's matchup, Derek? Yeah, I hope the Tigers, like we just said a minute ago there, they keep up their momentum from last week and this weekend. Um, I feel kind of like they're hitting a good stride. They're very comfortable with the rotation changes that were made there uh, earlier in the season. Um, I think the big thing is, you know, not letting Lewis Central let the Tigers get out of system. So if they, you know, hit a great serve, which I think Lewis Central is going to be capable of that, you yeah. know, our uh, serve receive and good passes so we can get a, you know, a pass to the setter and, and set up a great kill. That'll be that'll be a key, keeping us uh, in system versus out of system there. Um, again, Olivia Bla Boswell is playing really good on the right side there. Keely Jones as a freshman stepping into the outside position she's doing really good keep setting the middle hitters they've really started coming alive with uh, Jocelyn and Carly uh, Jocelyn O'Neill and Carly Jenkins there throughout the out the season and we saw in that Creston game some quicks some tempo changes some slides some stacks and so those were you know those are all things I think you're going to have to do when you've got a tall team that's Probably They're got good. some really good blockers there. Derek, I think the Tigers are going to have to bring it tonight because I think this Lewis Central team, they're what, 22 and 2 on the season? Uh, number one in Hawkeye 10. Uh, Tigers are going to have to be on their A game uh, without a doubt. And they can be. They have been playing well of late, but I think this is a really talented Lewis Central team. So it'll be fun to watch. I'm hoping for some really good volleyball here. There's about five minutes left in the pregame. Teams are on the court warming up. We invite people to go over to our YouTube channel. If you want to watch the game, go to YouTube and search for KCSI Radio. You can watch it there. You can listen to it here. We appreciate that as well. Whatever works best for you, uh, just enjoy. Should be some good volleyball here this evening. It's pink out tonight. So I kind of have a pink. Yeah, you do. I mean, it's kind of it's peach and kind of pink. I'll let you go with pink. I'm going with pink. I got in the spirit of it. For you, it's very pink. This is. It's very. <laughs> this is atypical. It's very colorful for I you. I like it. I like it. So anyway, but it is pink out tonight. Kind of a kind of a fun night, festive night. All right, we are going to take a break, and we'll come back after this and look at lineups. Thanks for joining us here on KCSI FM Velisca. Just as your local State Farm agent teams combine good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. This is your local State Farm agent, Dave Carball, and we promise to deliver the service you deserve at the price you want. My State Farm team will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call us today at 712-623-5639 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Across Nebraska and Southwest Iowa, too many people are living with pain, but they avoid seeking orthopedic care. If only they'd ask themselves one question, what's the best that could happen? At Ortho Nebraska, we make care as easy and comfortable as possible. You can be seen today without a referral, and the majority of patients don't require surgery. Whatever your pain, we offer the most accessible and personalized care to get you back to living your best life. Ortho Nebraska. Click, call, text, or walk in. Subscribe to the KCSI Radio YouTube channel today. Interviews, parades, events, contests, and more. Subscribe to KCSI Radio on YouTube and get notified every time something fun happens.
O'Neill. Melanie's singing a little and bit. On there the mic, Melanie. Yeah, she's got a little jam going here this evening. Okay, Derek, lineups in tonight's ball game. Who are we going to be talking about you here? You bet. For the visiting Titans from Lewis Central, we're going to see number one, Addison Holt, a senior. Uh, number four, Madeline uh, Osdemore, a junior. Number five, Ashlyn Haverman, a senior. Number six, Haley Erickson, a senior. Number 11, Madison Jones, a senior. Number 12, Anna Strohmeyer, a senior. Number 15, Maddie Rowenfeld, a junior. And also number 16, Bruce Larson, a junior. Be For the Brooke Larson. Brooke Larson. Brooke Larson. Okay. Did I say that wrong? You said Bruce Larson. It's <laughs> Brooke Larson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, yes, they, that's it's a big. Brooke. All right, then. But, uh, so. We are going to see some uh, there, Some of the non-starters for yes. the Lewis Central Titans include uh, Cami Damgard, number eight, Madeline Fedone, number nine, Jordan Mateo, and number 14, Mallory Wollers. She's the lone sophomore uh, on the on the lineup there. Titans are coached by Michael Bond, Lori Thomas, uh, Rachel Owen, and Scott Hargill. A really well coached Titans team. Definitely. Great coaching staff there. For the Tigers tonight, we're going to see Olivia Boswell, number two, a senior. Number four, Kiwi Jones, a freshman. Number five, Alexis Joint, a junior. Number seven, Merced Ramirez, a senior. Number eight, Emily Siebenecker, a sophomore. Number nine, Marley Gray, a junior. Number 10, Jocelyn O'Neill, a sophomore. Number 11, Carly Jenkins, a sophomore. Number 12, Kennedy DeVries, a junior. And number 17, Nicole Bond, a junior. Non-starters, non-rotation uh, players for the Tigers. Number one, Brinkley Salick, a junior. Number three, Haley Ryberg, a senior. Number six, Tori Wentz, a junior. Number 13, Marielle Ramirez, a freshman. And number 15, Ellison Johnson, a sophomore. Tigers are coached by Angie Montgomery, Sharon Allison, and Dana Ramirez. And that is our lineups and our uh, team uh, for both the Tigers and the Titans here tonight in Red Oak at the Pink Out. It's absolutely, uh, it's gonna, we're gonna be volleyball time here in just a moment. We're gonna step away for another break and we will be back after this. Ranch at the plaza on the plaza on Broadway and Red Oak. I'm, pr I'm partial to the chicken, Derek, at Pizza Ranch Buffet. Yeah, I, I'm partial, partial uh, to the uh, dessert pizza. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's a great thing. Yeah. Every, everybody wins in that situation. You, you just stop down and have it. You but bet. I would encourage you to make note of our sponsors and say thank you when you have the opportunity to uh, have the opportunity to let them know you appreciate it, making it possible for us to be here and both broadcast on radio and uh, to stream online. So say thanks to our sponsors when you have the opportunity. Mr. Erickson, the AD for the Red Oak Community School District, making the player introductions at the moment. Fans are on their seat, are on their feet as player introductions are being made. And again, kind of a special 
night tonight with uh, Pink Out. I think Mr. Erickson made an announcement as well regarding some, what's along those lines, right? What, what Pink Out is for and uh, honoring, you know, those survivors of uh, and those battling uh, breast cancer and breast cancer awareness. So, yeah. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, so the most common cancer in women is breast cancer. So player introductions being made. We're going to step away again, and we will be back after these messages. Welcome back. Player introductions being made, and it's just about volleyball time, but we are going to have to step away for our national anthem. Looks like Mr. Vern Olson will be performing the national anthem, and again, we are going to step away for our national anthem, and we will return with the opening serve after this. and it's it's just about time for volleyball Derek it is it is volleyball time we got some good music over here from Kipley pumping in the gym getting everybody excited and I thought uh, you were talking about Mr. Olson there you know that too you know Vern you can just count on Vern to nail that he, national anthem every time he does it every time and he nails it every time it's kind of like going to pizza ranch you know their chicken is going to be good <laughs> every time. every single time every time or when you turn on KCSI radio you're going to hear something great every, every time. single time that's, right? how, that's how it is there's some things that are just given in life yeah, Derek and exactly. that's it exactly so. All right, so uh, players are on the court, checking lineups, checking numbers, all of those sorts of things, and we are going to be ready for some volleyball here this evening. Kind of excited to see the Titans play for the first time this year, so should be some good volleyball. Should be some great volleyball. All right. Derek, here we go. Back to serve for the Titans, Erickson. In the back row, Bond passes it up front. Set from joint to Jenkins. Big hit by Jenkins dugout. We're going to have a net Calling. violation on the Tigers. Yep. That was a good job by the Tigers, though. You know, they got the they got the pass off that, that serve and uh, got it over to the setter and 
great attempt by Carly there. So they didn't catch him too far out of system, which is, you know, something I'm a little worried about with their serving here. Haley Erickson back to serve. Haley is senior, 5'3", senior for the Titans. DeVries passes it up front, set to Ramirez, taps it across, kept alive. Pass to the net, hit across, tapped across by Larson. That's Brooke Larson. She's a junior, 5'11", junior. And the point goes to the Tigers. Is it out of play, Derek, or what do we have there? You know, I was, I was trying to look at the, the list there. I did not catch that. Patches. Tied up at one apiece. Into the back row, serves to the back row. Hit across by Haberman. Out, Tigers point. 2-1, Red Oak leads, set one. Here we go, Bond back to serve for the Tigers. Nicole Bond. She's the libero for Red Oak into the back row. Received by Strohmeyer. Hit across by Larson. Bond passes it to the net. Set joint. Jones into the back row. Free ball across the net by Strohmeyer. Passed up to the net. Set to Ramirez. She taps it across. Kept alive by the Titans. Holt to Haverman. Hits it into the net. Point. Yeah. Tigers. Red Oak leads 3-1. Great volley by, the, by both teams there. Tigers doing a great job kind of keeping Lewis Central out of system a little bit. So I uh, like what I'm seeing so far. 3-1, Red Oak leads set one, back to serve Bond once again. Into the back row, passed up front, Strohmeyer tapped across by Roenfeld. Hit O'Neill, passed up the net, hit across by Larson. There's Bond to joint, set to Ramirez. She hits it yeah. right down the line to the corner, Point Tigers. Red Oak leads four to one in set one. Our line judges even have pink flags here tonight. They in the total do. pink out. So a lot of pink in the crowd. Student section getting into the spirit of things. Erickson with the set to Larson. Big hit at the net by Larson. Point Titans. Yeah, Jocelyn and Merced were right there for the block. Just couldn't quite uh, get it to fall over on the Titans side. So. Lewis Central with the with the uh, side out there. Ashlyn Haverman back to serve now for the Titans. Haverman from the right side, low across the net. Bond gets under it. Joint set to Ramirez. She taps it across right to the open spot. Holt. Yeah. And nice job by Merced. You know, I was talking talking about this game a little bit there with Jocelyn, and she said, you know, the key is going to be to sometimes just find those open spots with that little tap like what Merced did right there and not just, not just swinging as hard as you can. 5-2, Red Oak leads set one, serve from Ramirez. There's uh, Strohmeyer, hit across by Larson, too far, it's out point, Red Oak. 6-2, Red Oak leads set one. Back to serve, Ramirez. 6-2, Red Oak leads. Ramirez served low and across the net. Hit off the rafters. We're going to have a free ball across the net by Larson. Bond gets under it. Set to Boswell. Tapped back down. Bond pushes it into the back row. Here's a set to Larson. Hit yeah. far. Out of play. Man. Red Oak. Excellent job by the Tigers there. You know, on that out of system. Jocelyn bump set to Olivia. She got blocked, and somehow we, we recovered off that. And... Still got the ball over, and Titans hit it long. 7-2, Red Oak leads set one. There's Erickson hit at the net by Roenfeld. Point, Titans. 7-3, back to serve is Maddie Roenfeld. She's a junior, a 6-1 junior for the Titans. And here we go, 7-3 is the score. Set number one, Red Oak leads. Maddie Rowenfeld back to serve. Jump serve into the back row, but yep. too far. Misses out. Point Red Oak. Good job, Kennedy DeVries there, being very aware of where that back line is and just letting that ball sail long. Into the game is Siebenecker and Gray taking a seat. Jones and DeVries. Siebenecker back to serve. She served from right in the middle part of the service line. Eight to three, Red Oak's lead. In the back row, passed up front to Erickson, set to Larson. She hits yeah. this one hard. No question there. I mean, uh, that's, I think, a good example of what Lewis Central is capable of when they are in system, when they get a great pass, great set, and then just 
the hang time with uh, with uh, Larson. Yeah, Larson there on that kill. That's that was impressive. Eight to four is the score. Jump serve from Larson, low across the net. Siebenecker pass it right to the net, tapped down by Strohmeyer. Uh -huh. Hit across, it's uh, out, point, Titans. Tigers a little out of system there. Merced did an excellent job keeping that second touch off the net uh, so that we had a chance to do something with it. Eight to five is the score. Red Oak leads set one. Larson jump serve this one into the back row. Siebenecker to Ramirez, set to O'Neill on the right side, into the net, point, Lewis Central. 8-6, Red Oak leads. Brooke Larson back to serve, junior. 5'11", junior for the Titans. <coughs> Here we go, jump serve from the right side, low across the net, Bond gets under it. Siebenecker passes it up, and then we're going to have a hit across the net by Bond. Larson set to Strohmeyer, she hits it across, Tigers are there. Ramirez with the set to Boswell, hits it across, kept alive, we're going to have a Free ball across the net by Larson. Up to the net, Ramirez set to Gray. She taps it across, Strohmeyer gets under it. Larson set goes to Jones, she pushes it across. Bond passes it to the net, set to Boswell. She taps it across, point Tigers. Good, Good volley ball. there by the Tigers and they were, they were out of system almost that whole, that whole way. So good job to recover and come out with the points and the side out. 9-6 is our score. Red Oak leads set one. Back to serve O'Neill into the back row. Strohmeyer, Larson set to Osdemore. Osdemore. Pushed across by Osdemore this time. And Ramirez to Gray. She hits it in the back row. Holt, Larson set to Jones. Blocked at the net. Here's Strohmeyer with the free ball across the net. Set goes to Gray over on the left side. Blocked. Out, out of play. Oh. Touch by the Tigers. Yep. All touch, right. Touch by the Titans. Yep. Point to the Titans. Nine to seven is our score. Set number one. Anna Strohmeyer back to serve. Strohmeyer senior, 5'10 senior. Good volleyball player. Low across the net. Siebenecker set. Low set to Jenkins. Dug out by Strohmeyer. We're going to have a push across the net by Jones to Boswell. From the back row, it's Bond up front. Larson with the set to Haberman. She hits it across. Tigers are there. Set goes to Gray. Blocked at the net. Point. Titans. Nine to eight. It's a one-point ball game. Yeah, Tigers, I, I think we need to try and run some of that quick tempo stuff there just a little bit. I think their blockers are starting to key in on our, our tempo just a little bit. Anna Strohmeyer back to serve from the left side. With her right hand into the back row, Siebenecker. Low set to Jenkins. She pushes it to the open spot. Strohmeyer gets under it. Hit across by Jenkins. Nice job by Carly Jenkins. And it's 10 to 8, set number one. Red Oak leads. Back to serve is joint. Alexis joint. She will be our setter now in this 6-2 rotation for the Tigers. 10-8. Into the back row, Strohmeyer, Larson, set goes to Haverman. She hits it across. There is Grace, set to Carly Jenkins. Haverman gets under it. Larson, free ball across the net by Strohmeyer. Set joint to Gray. She taps it across, and again, that's just finding the open spot. Derek. That's that's what they need to do. You know, you need to find that open spot when the ball touches the floor. It's a point either way, whether it's coming in hard or coming in soft. 11 to 8 is the score, set number one, and back to serve is Alexis Joint for Red Oak. Low taps the top ribbon, but a nice job by Haverman to keep it alive, and then Larson taps it across. Free ball, Ramirez into the back row. Holt passes it out front. Set to <laughs> Haverman. That was a hit, Derek. Yeah. Whoa. I could, I could tell when their libero made that pass, and we, they had all the time for the, the setter to put it up that it was – Something impressive was coming, and that was that was impressive that was by the Titans. Yes. 11 to 9 is our score. Red Oak leads set one. Back to serve is Addison Holt, a senior. 5 9 senior into the back row bond. Joint. Ramirez with kind of a free ball blocked at the net nicely. Tapped across. This time the set goes to Rowenfeld. Point. Titans. Yeah, off the Tigers. We were there in the blocking just. Uh, 
hit the hands and fell down in, in play. Addison Holt back to serve. 11 to 10, Red Oak leads set number one. Holt serve low, taps the top oh. ribbon and falls to the floor. Yeah, she is serving aggressive. I noticed that on her uh, first is attempt there and, and that second one tapping the ribbon and falling down. Is that a jelly roll? That's a jelly roll. Yeah, getting jelly the, roll. Getting the net to play. 11 apiece, tied up at 11, set one into the back row. This time Bond lets it fly out the backside point, goes to the Tigers. Mr. Perrin was there for that. Did you see that? Yeah. Pretty athletic move for Mr. Perrin to grab it. Tell you what, he was quick. Impressive. Wow. 12 to 11 is our score. Red Oak leads set one. Jump serve from Gray. Set from Larson to Roanfeld. Big hit yeah. off of the hands of Tigers. It was a good slick little play, a yeah. little, little slide. Good little slide there by the, by the Titans and... Uh, you know, we got our hands on it, just couldn't quite connect for a, for a good uh, good pass there. Tied up at 12 apiece, set number one, and back to serve will be Haley Erickson, 5'3", senior. Erickson serve into the back row. DeVries, joint, sets to Jenkins. She taps it across, tapped by the Titans, and they failed to get it across, and that point goes to the Tigers. Thirteen to twelve, set number one. Red Oak leads. Back to serve Bond, Nicole Bond. In the back row, Strohmeyer, Erickson, and yeah. nice low set to Roanfeld, and she just slams it down. Yeah, she just uh, no question on no question on that one, and that's what you know. I'm impressed with the Titans. They have a lot of options there. Uh, from some strong outside hitters to strong middles, and they're they're taking advantage of it. 13 apiece, back to serve Haverman. Ashlyn Haverman, a senior. Into the back row, Bond passes it to joint, set to pushed across by Ramirez. Design play? You know, I'm not sure on that one a little bit. Uh, you know, great back set there by Alexis, and Jocelyn did a good, a good job, you know, faking, faking the hit and pulling the block, and Merced able to tap it down for the point. 14-13, Red Oak leads set one. Back to serve Ramirez. Into the back row, Holt passes it up to Erickson. Set to Larson, off of the Tigers. That's a hard hit, that's hard to control. Big time, you know, Keeley got her hands on it, which, you know, I'm I'm glad we're, we're blockers are there and our timing is there. Uh, just on those hard blocks, it's sometimes hard to Larson. redirect the ball where you want it to go. It's a hard hit. Yeah, the, and these, the these Titans girls. are hitting the ball hard. Oh, very hard. Roenfeld serves into the back row to Bond. Set to O'Neill. She taps it across. Erickson keeps it alive. Haverman set to Strohmeyer. Hits it hard. Bond. Oh, Boswell hits it across. There's Larson to Erickson. Set again to Strohmeyer. Hits it across. Point Titans. Great job just with cross court hit there on a lot of uh, a lot of volley and out of system play by both teams. Titans coming away with a good hit and, and the point in the side out there. 15-14 is our score. Titans lead set one. Back to serve is Maddie Roenfeld. Low and into the net, point Tigers. Tied up at 15 apiece now. And that's some substitution here. Siebenecker in for Jones. Gray in for DeVries. And Siebenecker will go back to serve. Emily Siebenecker, a sophomore, 5'5 sophomore for the Red Oak Tigers. Middle portion of the service line into the back row. There's Erickson set to Larson. It's out. And, and I think they gave the point to Lewis Central. Uh, so the up ref is calling it in or a touch. I can't tell for sure. Point Lewis Central. 16-15, and back to serve Larson. Brooke Larson, great athlete. Jump serve right side, low and into the net, point Red Oak. Tied up at 16. Here we go, still set number one. This one's been, the Tigers opened up a big lead to start, five or six points, and then the Titans have fought their way back in it, and it's been nip and tuck ever since. Holt, Larson, Set to Strohmeyer, hit hard. Tigers keep it alive. We're going to have a pass to the net. Free ball, Jenkins into the back row. Holt passes it up. Larson 
set this time goes to Jones. She hits it across. Boswell, big block by Strohmeyer. Anna Strohmeyer, senior. Yeah, the Tigers did a good job of keeping that keeping that ball alive off a couple of their their previous hard hits. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think the size kind of won that one for the Titans. 17-16, Titans lead set one into the back row. Siebenecker passes it to the net. Set to Boswell, point Tigers. And Haverman got a hand on it, but again, it just kind of goes down the side of the net and points Red Oaks. It's tied up at 17 apiece. Joint into the game. Boswell takes a seat for Red Oak and back to serve Alexis Joint. For the Red Oak Tigers, low across the net. Strohmeyer, Larson, set goes to Osdemore. And it was out, so uh, Tigers get the get the point on that. 18-17 is our score. Red Oak leads set one. Serve from joint into the back row. There's Holt, Larson, set and hit by Haverman. Yeah, I'm All seeing right. I, I'm seeing that the the Titans setter there, number 16, Larson. She is. When she is in the setting position, she covers a lot of the floor and is able to give them more opportunities uh, because of that. Tied up at 18 apiece. Holt back to serve. Addison Holt, she's a senior. A serve by Holt. That's this the is, first ace we've seen here it tonight. Is. So Yeah, Lewis Central leads 19-18. This is a talented team. We're going to have a timeout on the court, Derek. And Lewis Central leads 19-18, set number one, and we'll be back after this. leads 19-18 so Derek Tigers opened up a five or six point lead to start set number one Titans get back in it and it's just been a point for point since that time I mean they're hanging tough and uh, <laughs> that's you see what I did there <laughs> clever Derek everybody at home's thinking okay that's what we're playing that's what's going on that's what Mr. Kipley coach yeah. Kip has it going in the gym <laughs> oh clever Derek here we go Titans serve, back to serve as Holt. Into the back row, Ramirez passes it to the net, set to Gray. She hits it to the open yeah. spot, point Tigers. Just, uh, I mean, not the greatest, uh, it wasn't, you know, pass set and, and hit, but hey, Marley got her hand on it and it's a point. hit the open spot on floor and got the, got the point for the Tigers. Tied so. up at 19 now, set number one. Gray back to serve for Red Oak. Marley Gray jump serve low across the net. There's Haverman. Larson set to ah. Jones. Again, Tigers got the ball, got their hands on the ball on the block, and it just just uh, can't quite get those to go their, yep. their way yet. But I'm, I'm thinking by set number two, we're going we're gonna to see some more blocking. 20 to 19. But this, Derek, this Lewis Central team's powerful. They can hit the ball hard. It's tall. hard. And, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a, I mean, other than being tall and athletic and really good volleyball players, you know, Erickson tapped across that time by Haverman. Jones hits yeah. it. Point Tigers off of the Titans. So you were saying other than being tall I mean, and athletic and really good volleyball players, is there is there something else that makes them really good? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're, just, they're good ball Yeah, team. I mean, they're, they they're are, good. we didn't talk about it at the beginning, but they are a, you know, top 10 ranked team in 4A, I think yeah. somewhere around six. So they're really good. Tied up at 20 apiece. Holt receives. Larson hits it across. Bond is there. Jones tap down. Bond backs her up. Pushed across by Ramirez. Holt passes it up to the net. We're going to have a free ball across the net. Strohmeyer set. Joint goes to Jones. There's Holt. Strohmeyer passes it to the net. Larson's going to tap it across. There's Jones to Joint. Set to Ramirez on the right side. Blocked and point. Uh, to Tigers. the Tigers. I think that block went out of bounds there. You know, 
I got to say, I think the Tigers are doing as good a job of keeping Lewis Central out of system as, you know, I was a little worried about that on the other side, but it's a back and forth game here. Great, great match. 21-20. We're having a little discussion here between the coaches. I mean, I, I don't think you can, looks like we're going to have a timeout. I don't that know that you mid, can. That was kind of yeah, mid that was point. In the, the, the down ref stopped it. That should be Red Oaks point quite honestly i'm not sure how you can do that but hey i guess there you go i'm not the down ref or the up ref you just talk about it here yep take a break and we'll be back after these messages red oak lead 21 20. across nebraska and southwest iowa too many people are living with pain but they avoid seeking orthopedic care if only they'd ask themselves one question what's the best that could happen at ortho nebraska we make care as easy and comfortable as possible you can be seen today without a referral, and the majority of patients don't require surgery. Whatever your pain, we offer the most accessible and personalized care to get you back to living your best life. Ortho Nebraska. Click, call, text, or walk in. Welcome back to Red Oak, still in set number one. Red Oak leads 21-20. It's been a hard fought first set, Derek. Yeah, back and forth the whole time, and both, both teams are playing very well here tonight, and. Uh, kind of complementary strengths and weaknesses out there have gotten us to this point. Bond with the serve into the back row. Strohmeyer, Erickson set to Larson, hit hard, point Tigers. Yeah, good job by the Tigers there. Again, you know, they weren't quite in in system there with the, with the Titans, and looks like Lewis Central wants to talk about it again. 22-20 is our score, and we'll take that break, and we'll be back. Red Oak leads 22-20, set number one. Just as your local State Farm agent teams combine good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto. And guess what you get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. This is your local State Farm agent, Dave Carball, and we promise to deliver the service you deserve at the price you want. My State Farm team will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call us today at 712-623-5639 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Welcome back. A quick rundown of what has happened earlier here tonight. In freshman play, it was Red Oak over Lewis Central, 25-14-23. In junior varsity play, it was Red Oak over Lewis Central, 23-25, 25-21, 15 Red Oak wins two sets to one in junior varsity play. We are in set number one, and Red Oak leads 22-20. Set number one. Back to serve, Nicole Bond for Red Oak. Into the back row, sells long, point, Titans. Yeah, Nicole's trying to be aggressive there, which I, you know, this is what, this is the spot in the match where you need to do that in the set. And uh, Ashlyn Haverman back to serve for the Titans. She's a senior, 5'9", senior for the Titans. Low across the net, Ramirez passed it right to the net. Joint, head across by O'Neill. Nice job by the Tigers. Set to Ramirez, she taps it across. Larson keeps it alive, falls down. On the Titans side, Derek. Yeah, I, you know, we've talked about it all season. That is a great example of Alexis Joint there, digging an overpass out of the net and keeping it alive for the Which Tigers. Which is really tough to do. Super tough to do, and she gets called in the net once in a while, but, man, when you can save them like that at this point in a match. 23-21 is the score. Red Oak leads. Erickson low set to Roanfeld. She taps it across, point, yeah. Titans. That was a great job by their strong middle there. Roanfeld finding the open spot on the floor, getting the side out. Roan, Roanfeld back to serve now. It's 23-22, set number one. Roanfeld back to serve for the Titans. Hit across, DeVries hits the up riff, and it's tied up at 23 apiece in set number one. Goodness. Maddie Roenfeld, she's a 6'1 junior, and we're going to have a timeout on the court again. Red Oak wants to talk it over now, and, and uh, yeah, excited. This is as good a volleyball as you can expect for a Hawkeye 10 match here, home for the Tigers. These two going back and forth, and we're going to take a break. We'll be right back after this, tied up at 23 apiece in set number one. Hey, Sunshine Country, it's Cheryl Porter. Do you like your job? 
How would you like to love your job? Fresco System USA is looking for several highly motivated workers to join our team. Come see me at 2026 Fernwood Avenue in Red Oak or call 712-623-8100, extension 6659, and we can talk about everything we offer, like benefits starting day one and so much more. So if you're ready to love your job, come see me today at Fresco System USA. Tied up at 23 apiece in set number one. Back to serve is Maddie Roenfeld, a junior, a 6'1", a junior, the middle hitter for the Titans. Jump serve, low into the net, across the net, rather. The cross by Boswell, misses out, point Titans, 24-23, Titans thought, lead. Uh, thought the Tigers were going to get away with one there when they were just a skosh out of system, but uh, Lewis Central comes up with the big point here. Set point. Titans, Roenfeld back to serve. Into the back row, it's in. A serve. a serve, and the Titans win set number one, 25-23 here in Red Oak. We'll be back with set number two right after this. Stadium 34 in Red Oak, proudly serving delicious food and drinks to all of Sunshine Country. From your favorite craft beer with a burger to a perfectly grilled ribeye steak and a glass of wine. They have a great selection on their menu. Stadium 34 also serves breakfast Saturday and Sunday mornings. And if you need a space for a wedding reception, anniversary party, family reunion or birthday party, Stadium 34 has the perfect banquet space for a large or small event. Call today to book your party. That's Stadium 34 at the Red Coach Inn on Senate Avenue in Red Oak. For over 50 years, Heinlein Home Furnishings have served customers in Missouri and Iowa with our large in-stock selection or our custom order program. Our no-pressure sales and delivery team is always available to help you find items that will make your home look beautiful. With over 80,000 feet of gorgeous furniture and flooring, check out one of our three locations today. Maryville, Missouri or Harlan in Shenandoah, Iowa. Heinlein is here to help our neighbors have beautiful homes. One play can change the momentum in a game, and one deductible is a game changer when it comes to your insurance. That's why you should see me, Richard Fisher, your Farm Bureau agent in Red Oak. I can help bring your car and home together in a single policy. So if life sends you a blitz in the form of a storm or fire, you'll pay just one deductible for everything that's covered. Come see how we can help protect what matters most. That's Richard Fisher down at Farm Bureau Financial Services across from the post office here in Red Oak. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. You have a line of severe thunderstorms that has developed through portions of eastern Nebraska. So I think we had a severe thunderstorm warning there for a moment, and hopefully everything is okay yeah, I, in I, Nebraska. I've never uh, been on the radio and been able to experience that. Heard it plenty of times well, on yeah. the radio. So, so I think so. If it's not in the immediate country sunshine listening area, but we did have a severe thunderstorm warning. Still west of Omaha ways. Yeah, still mm -hmm. uh, in Nebraska at the moment, so we'll keep an eye on that. And that was actually where that was set, or according to the National Weather Service, where they had that predicted to develop this afternoon. So not a great surprise there, but certainly we'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully, hopefully, no, I guess it always concerns me this time of year what that could do to the crops and the harvest and that sort of thing. So yeah, hopefully you know, it's not too bad. Definitely could use some rain out Absolutely, there. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, but... Uh, kind of calm the dust down and everything but uh yeah we don't want the whole severe weather piece of it for yeah, sure absolutely all right derek uh, coming back to it here so um some alignments are checking some numbers and rotations so it looks like tigers are going to start in a slightly different uh position in their lineup here uh angie's rotated them just a bit uh, to maybe better match up with the middle part of lewis central's uh, Lewis Central's line up there, maybe when uh, Maddie Roenfeld is playing in the middle there. So we'll see how that works. All right, here we go. It's just about time for volleyball, set number two. And uh, Lewis Central wins set 125-23. Back to serve Bond, sells long point, Titans. And now back to serve will be Haverman for the Tigers. 
For the Titans. For the Titans, rather. Serve received by Bond up the net. Joint hits it across. What do we have there? Two touch? No. All right. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I can't that really called? decipher that particular call with the what happened there, but anyways, point, point to Titans. the Titans. Yep. No, not the Tigers, the Titans, Derek. 2-0, yes. Titans lead. Again, back to serve is Ashlyn Haverman. This one's in. A serve by Haverman, and it's 3-0. Titans lead, set two. Ashlyn Haverman, senior, outside hitter, 5-9, outside hitter for the Titans. And serve from Haverman into the back row. Bond passes it to the net. Set to Jones. Point Tigers. Yeah, good job by the Tigers. Great serve received. Pass to Merced. Uh, she did a little back set there to Kiwi on the right side. And Kiwi nailed it down the line on the right side and, and got the point. That's exactly what the Tigers needed to do there. Back to serve for the Tigers will be Ramirez. Titans lead 3-1. Serve into the back row. Holt passes up to Erickson. Set to Strohmeyer, and she hits it hard, and the point goes to the Titans. Yeah, off the blocker hands there of the, of the Tigers and falls in play, and point and, goes to the Titans. And Strohmeyer, senior, 4-1. Titans lead set two. Back to serve is Roenfeld. Into the back row, Bond, pass it to the net. Set to O'Neill. She taps it across. Dump set by Erickson, but Bond is there. Set to Jones. She hits it across block. We're going to have net call on net. the Titans. Yep, net violation point, Tigers. Four to two is our score. So we do have a thunderstorm watch until 11 p.m. for the Country Sunshine Wrestling Area. Serve from Siebenecker, passed up to the net. Set to Strohmeyers again, <laughs> point Titans. Yeah, she can hit it hard and she can tap it, and either way it's getting to a point for the Titans and a side out. And it's 5-2 to two. now. Jump serve comes from Larson into the back row. Siebenecker passed it up to Ramirez, set to O'Neill. Down ball, hit across the net, Holt. To Haverman, hit across by Strohmeyer into the back row. Siebenecker to Ramirez, little set to O'Neill. Larson dumps set, point, Titans. Yeah, Larson is an excellent setter there for the Titans, and she's uh, she runs a lot of that court, sees a lot of openings, and took one right there. Jack to serve is Larson. Ace uh, serve. That was, uh, yeah, she hit the exact seam she wanted to, and looks like Angie wants to calm the Tigers down and reset their mind just a little bit on moving forward here. Yeah, we're going to have a timeout. I'm going to give a uh, little bit of information here uh, weather-wise if I can grab some uh, information here. Just a quick note that there is a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Lancaster County. Central Seward County and Saunders County in Central Nebraska. That's until 8:15 on that. So that's uh, and then over just to the west of Omaha, large area that actually includes just a tiny bit of Monona County. That's why we got that warning there just a bit ago. Western Burke County, Cumming County, Western Washington County, Dodge County, a large area until 8:15. Severe thunderstorms located along the line. 70 mile per hour wind gust. It is radar indicated, so it's not confirmed by train spotters, but certainly a distinct line of thunderstorms moving west, it would appear. Uh, and that's kind of what we were expecting this evening. Back to action here. Lewis Central leads 7 2. Jump serve Larson sells long point Tigers. That's exactly what uh, Coach Montgomery was. Uh, hoping for when she called that timeout to kind of reset and, and transition and quick point for the Tigers. So here we go. Serve Tigers. Holt gets under it. Nice job. Set goes to Strohmeyer. Blocked out of play. Point Titans. Eight to three is our score. Yeah, you know, the Tigers are right there with the tempo of the Titans. Uh, you, it, the blocking is just a little tough with uh, the way some of those hits are coming off the, the Titan hands. Back to serve Strohmeyer. Anna Strohmeyer. 
8-3, Titans lead set two. Serve hits the top row, drop ribbon, a serve. Touched by the Tigers, it goes into the bleachers, and the point goes to the Titans. Yeah, the net can play an extra defensive person or an extra offensive player out there, depending on uh, depending on what's going on. All right, here we go. Back to serve again, Strohmeyer. Into the back row, Siebenecker to Bond. Get across by Gray. Haverman, Larson set to Jones. Point Tigers. Let's yeah. see what happened there, Derek. That was a block at the net with uh, Marley and Carly. And, uh, you know, Lewis Central was a little out of transition, but we timed that block well and side out for the Tigers. 9 4, Red Oak leads set two. I'm sorry, Lewis Central leads set two. Into the back row, Strohmeyer. Larson hit across by Haverman. Tigers just struggling a little bit yeah, here. They're going to call a lift on that, but that was great reaction and great hustle by the Tigers to try and get their hands on that. Uh, again, Lewis Central doing what the Tigers do too, you know, finding that open spot on the floor. It's not always that hard hit. 10-4 to four is our score. Lewis Central leads set to low serve across the net by Holt. Joint to Jenkins. Titans keep it alive. We're going to have free ball across the net. Haverman. Joint set to Gray. Larson digs it out, but we have a calling the Titans in the net, number 11. In the net, so the point goes to the Tigers. 10 to 5 is the score, set two. Titans lead. Titans won set one, 25 23. Titans lead set two, 10 to 5. Back to serve is Gray. Jump serve into the back row, Strohmeyer. Larson with the set to Haverman and the point yeah. goes to the Titans. That's a that's a tough one there on the on the outside with the Titans. Uh, and they they capitalize on that almost every time. <clears throat> and it's eleven to five. Back to serve for the Titans will be Haley Erickson. Serves from the right side. Into the back row, DeVries joint set to Jones. Haverman is there, right at the net. Erickson with the kind of a free ball across the net. Tapped across by Jenkins. Jones taps yeah. it down. Nice heads up play by Keeley Jones. Yeah, the Tigers, you know, they caught Lewis Central a little off guard with the quick to the middle there to Carly and then somehow got their hands on it and uh, got the ball up and Keeley tapped it back down for a point for the Tigers, keeping us in that kind of striking distance. 11 to six is our score set. Two, Lewis Central leads. Roenfeld hits it across. There's joint to Bond. Hit across by Ramirez. Tigers a little out of system here. Free ball across the net. DeVries. Erickson with the set to Larson. And joint digs it out up front. Jones hits it a bit far, and the point goes to the Titans. Yeah. Lewis Central's got a lot of a lot of options out there on their uh, offensive scheme. You know, their uh, good setter there, number 16, Larson, she transitions to a pretty strong right side hitter uh, in this part of the rotation, and Tigers just can't capitalize. Over Haverman with the ace serve for the Titans, and it's 13 to six, set number two. 13 to six, set two. Tigers need a stop here. We need to keep that point differential within a good uh, good striking distance and and uh, hopefully this is this is the the point. 13-6. Haverman back to serve once again. Tapped on the top ribbon, a serve. Yeah, using that net to their advantage, they get uh, that that quick uh, quick point there with the changing the trajectory of the ball as it taps the net and just rolls over. 14-6 is our score, set number two. Haverman back to serve. Lewis Central lead set two. Low and across the net again, joint to Ramirez, set to O'Neill. She taps it across. Erickson keeps it alive. Strohmeyer hammers it across. Bond is there. Set goes to Jones over on the left side. Haverman keeps it alive. Erickson Hit across Strohmeyer, too far, point goes to the Tigers. Yeah, good job for the Tigers, getting the side out, hopefully changing some momentum here. You know, I'm seeing the Tigers do what everything they need to do. They're, they're trying to hit those open spots on the floor and be very aware of the court. 
just, Lewis Central is just covering every gap. 14 to seven is our score. Red Oak, or Lewis Central leads. Erickson with the set to Roanfeld. And wow, she just hammers tight, it right. Yeah. Tight, tight pass to the net. And she uh, did a great job of just doing a back set to the, to her middle hitter there, kind of to the right side and just slammed it down. Back to serve as Roanfeld is 15-7 now. Titans lead set two. Roanfeld serves into the back row, and it's going to be an ace serve. Nice job by Roanfeld. Matty Roanfeld, a junior. You know, that went off the hands of Nicole Bond there, but the thing I'd say about Nicole is she she gives no has no problem sacrificing almost every part of her to, to get that ball, and she's certainly doing that here tonight in the back row for the Tigers. 16-7 is the score. Lewis Central leads into the back row. Bond passes it up front to Ramirez. Set to Jones. She taps it across. Strohmeyer's air dumps set by Erickson. Boswell from the right side, blocked by the Titans. Down ball across the net. Jones, Erickson with the set to Larson. Wow. Big hit. You give them a freebie and they're going to capitalize, and that's that's what happened there. Tigers out of system, but doing a great job of keeping the ball alive and do, keeping the volley going. We're going to take a break. Timeout on the court. 17-7, to Lewis Central leads set to. Hawkeye Ford in Red Oak is all new and better than ever. I'm Mike Utz, the new general sales manager. We boosted our inventory and expanded our dedicated sales and service teams while retaining the familiar faces you trust. Buying, selling, or trading, we've got you covered. Experience the fresh selection of cars and top-notch service at Hawkeye Ford in Red Oak. Discover more at HawkeyeFord.com. Bob, welcome back. <laughs> Red Oak, set number two, Lewis Central one, set number one, 25-23. And here in set number two, the Titans have just really kind of taken control, and it's 17-7. Yeah, they, they are in command at the moment with a 10-point kind of, you know, point differential and lead here. They're going to be able to – they're going to be able to run some plays and run some things that – uh, are probably just going to catch the Tigers off guard and keep us keep them at bay at that kind of 10 points. But we'll see. Hopefully this works out for the Tigers. Maddie Roenfeld back to serve once again into the back row. Bond to Ramirez. Hit across by O'Neal. Block. DeVries keeps it alive. Free ball across the net. Ramirez. There's Roenfeld. Erickson. Set goes to Strohmeyer. I think. I don't know what you do with that. <laughs> it's a point, Titans. Yeah, I mean, maybe they could let us have a seventh player out there <laughs> on defense there in the back row. But yeah, other than that, you know, you gotta you gotta try and keep them out of transition so they can't set the ball up that. that 18-7 is the score. Titans lead. Set number two. Back to serve. Roanfeld again. Bond to Ramirez. O'Neal hits it across. And it's called out. out. Yep. Point Titans 19-7. I mean, we are just not quite handling that serve receive. Merced's got maybe one option if she's lucky, and and uh, we need to fix that here quick. Roenfeld back to serve once again. Into the back row this time. DeVries to Bond. Set goes to Boswell. She hits it cross court, but Strohmeyer is there. Set to Larson on the right side. She just kind of... Just kind of an off-speed yeah. hit, Derek, really. You know, I, I, I'm i guessing that they do a – Lewis Central has such powerful hitters that they're able to start the tempo of the game that way and then slowly transition to some of the strategic, you know, spots. That it's just catching the Tigers, Tigers off guard. I'm not sure what you can do there. 20-7 to seven is the score. Titans lead set to DeVries pass it up front. Ramirez low set to O'Neill. She taps it across. There's Larson. Set to Strohmeyer over on the left side, point Titans. Tigers need to swing. I, I appreciate the effort of you know trying to hit the open spot on the floor, but they've also got to swing and hit that hit that ball when they have the opportunity. Here we go, serve from Roenfeld. And hit across by Boswell. Dug out nicely by DeVries. Jones tapped across by O'Neill, then pushed back across by Larson. There's Ramirez. Tigers a little out of sync here, out of system, into the back row. Roenfeld, Erickson set by Osdemore. Point 
Titans. Yeah, but the thing I'm seeing here, every serve from the Titans, it's keeping the Tigers out of system. Our back row passing or transition, you know, the setter is either having to bump set or uh, even our libero taking the second ball, and that's that's just keeping you out of system. Back to serve, Roenfeld again, 22 to seven into the back row. There's Bond, Ramirez hit across by Jones. Point Tigers. Yeah, that was a great that was a great out of system transition there. Keely Jones uh, hammering it down on the right side, straight down the line. She did that earlier in the night, and it's uh, it's an effective hit when she can get it. 22 to eight is our score in set number two. Back to serve now, Siebenecker. Low into the back row, Strohmeyer. Erickson set to Larson on that right side. And boy, she just put it right exactly where she needed to. Precision with that one. And it's 23-8 set number two, Titans lead. And back to serve will be Brooke Larson. She's a junior. Jump serve, sells long, point Tigers. 23 to nine is the score. Back to serve now, O'Neal for Red Oak. Joslyn O'Neal. There's Strohmeyer, Larson, pushed across by Jones. Set to Boswell, Larson, Holt, set to Strohmeyer. She hits it across, point Titans. Set point, 24-9 is the score. Titans with the lead in set number two. Lewis Central just in control of this set from the first point. Serve from Strohmeyer, Siebenecker. Bond passes it up to Gray. She hits it in the net, that's it. 25 to nine. Pretty dominant second set there by the Titans. Absolutely, Lewis Central did a great job taking control, jumping out early and uh, just not, not taking their foot off the gas pedal. We're gonna take a quick break and we will be back after these messages. Uh, we do have some weather. It's in Nebraska at the moment through uh, east parts of eastern Nebraska. Not unexpected. There was the possibility of severe weather, and that has developed through parts of eastern Nebraska. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that. As, as I alluded to earlier, Derek, that's the kind of thing that we definitely need the rain. That just makes you concerned for a 70 mile per hour wind gust and standing crops, and that's just a bit of a concern there. Yeah, there's a storm coming here in set three. I don't know if it's going to be from the Titans or the Tigers, but. Uh, <laughs> I yeah. can feel it. Way to bring it back to volleyball, Derek. You bet, man. The Titans lead two sets to none, 25-23. First set was a hard-fought set. Back and point, forth. Yep. Point for point, point for point. Titans just controlled set number two, 25-9. Yeah, alm almost, almost from the opening point. I think they went up three or four points right away before the Tigers had a point, and 
and uh, they just kept slowly building that building that lead there. So yep. let's see what Angie's going to do here. Okay, so we're going to go back to our normal starting rotation there uh, from where we were at in the last set. So starting this one the way we started the first one, uh, and I think that's good, Can you know, a, a, maybe a little better matchup com based on the, the score of set two mm -hmm. there, so versus set one. So the Lewis Central, they're going to serve. Start out serving here with uh, Haley Erickson. Yep, Haley Erickson, senior, 5'3", senior for the Titans. Here we go, set number three. Serve into the back row, DeVries passed it up front. Set to Ramirez, hits it hard. And a free ball, or actually set to Larson on the right side. She hits it hard, off for the Tigers, point Titans. You know, that's, you know the Tigers were there and got the block this time though. It didn't just uh, hit off and still come on our side of the court. It, they stuffed it on that side, so I like that. Again, back to Erickson to serve into the back row. DeVries to joint, hit across by Jenkins. Erickson with the set to Roanfeld. She taps it across, but joint is there. There's Jones over on the left side. Tigers point. Ah, Keeley's doing a good job. I, it'll be interesting, interesting to see the stats at the end of the game, but I about bet she's leading in kills at the moment with both right side and outside plays she's had so far. Tied up with one apiece. Serve from Bond into the back row, Holt. There's Strohmeyer passing up the net, pushed across by Larson. And right at the net, Tigers are yeah, not going to get it across. That's, uh, they need to talk out there just a little bit, a little bit of confusion between Nicole and Jocelyn there on that second ball on who should take it, and it just didn't leave anybody there to, to hit it. So 2-1 is our score, set number three, back to serve Haverman. Ashlyn Haverman, good good volleyball player. This team's loaded with good volleyball players. Into the back row, DeVries, joint hit hard by Jones, but blocked at the net by Larson. Point goes to Lewis Central. It's 3-1. Lewis Central, set number three. Back to serve again, ha Ashlyn Haverman. Three one, set three. Low serve. Mm, a serve. A yeah. serve. Tigers thought it was going out, but. Lewis Central had, I mean, if we saw a spot map for serves, I bet 75% of them have been in that back corner that that one just went in here tonight. So. Four to one is the score. Now Lewis Central leads set three. Low comes across and just dives, but DeVries is there. Pushed across by Jones. Tapped back across by the Titans. Down ball across the net, DeVries. Erickson with the set to Strohmeyer. Big hit, passed up by DeVries. Set to Jones, hits it across. Yeah. Point, Tiger, nice job, Keeley Jones. Again, Keeley Jones with the, the opportunity and the, the kill, finishing it out for the Tigers. She's doing a good job tonight. You know, we're not, not a lot of other things are working. Back to serve is Ramirez. Four to two is the score, set number three. Merced Ramirez back to serve. Low across the net, there's Strohmeyer. Set to Larson, she just taps this one across. Bond gets under it, just dives to keep it alive. Hit across by Boswell. Holt to Larson on the right side, hit hard. Off of the hands of the Tigers. Point, Titans. Five to two, Titans lead set three, Roenfeld. Ronfeld has had tremendous success in the service line tonight. Both service line and as the, a middle hitter there for the for the Titans. She's doing very, very well. Here we go. Serve into the back row. DeVries to Ramirez. Pushed across by Boswell. Haverman to Erickson. Set to Strohmeyer. Point Titans. Now, again, Lewis Central just has a number of weapons out there that they can uh, – you know, their setter has a lot of options. And, and when you have that, it's really tough to defend. Um, I don't think the ball even wants to be hit by the Titans anymore <laughs> here because it ran out into the hallway and it's taken a little while to get it get it back here. But uh, Who's head of the concession stand? They there are swinging hard and, uh, you know, they are, they are a very well-oiled machine there, the Titans are. Six to two is our score in set number three. Titans lead into the back row. DeVries. Hit across by Boswell. 
Erickson set to Strohmeyer, point, Titans again. Yeah, almost the same exact spot on the floor. The ball just stayed in the gym this particular this particular time. So, And again, Roenfeld behind the service line, and this set here where they're at in the rotation is just – It has caused problems for the Tigers kind of all night long. Absolutely. Here, so. DeVries receives. Set goes to Jones on the right side. She hits it across yeah. off of the hands of the Titans, and yeah. the point goes to Riddle. Another serve-receive effort by the Tigers, and it ends up in uh, Keeley Jones' hands, and she's she's capitalized tonight in a number of, of ways. So good good for her. She's a positive in this uh, particular match so far. 7-3 to three is the score in set number three. Serve by Siebenecker. She goes for the little short serve. I like to say soft serve. Into the net. Point Titans. I like soft point serve Tigers. also, whether it's uh, you know, something coming from Emily or or the ice cream. I, I, I've got ice cream on the brain here, but into the back row, Holt. Erickson tapped across by Strohmeyer. Nice pancake there yeah. by Ramirez. Tigers, they don't get it across, but it was a good effort anyway. Definitely. I'm going to have to get a spatula up here and hand it out uh, after the game to the <laughs> Tigers when they do that because <laughs> that's an that's impressive effort to just lay your body out on the floor and get that keep that ball up for an opportunity. Jump serve from Larson low and into the net point, Tigers. And it's 8-5. to five. Red Oak, or sorry, Lewis Central with the lead. Set number three. Lewis Central leads two sets to zero, two sets to none in this varsity matchup. Larson set to Osd Osdemore, hit across. Tigers receive it well. Boswell hits it across. There's Larson. Haverman set to Jones. She hits it across. It's out. Point Tigers. Eight to six is the score. In set number three, Lewis Central with the lead. Joslyn O'Neill back to serve into the back row. Holt passes it up front. Larson dump set. Nice job by Ramirez to keep it alive. Free ball across the net. Siebenecker into the back row. Holt. Larson sets this time to Jones. She pushes it to the back row. There's Ramirez to O'Neill. Hit across by Boswell into the back row. Haverman passes it up to Larson. Set this time by Osdemore. She hits it across. Just goes for the open spot. Nothing super fancy there, both, but it's enough. Both teams trying to trying to finesse the ball there on every one of those those hits and find the open spot on the floor and and yeah. uh, you know off of Marley Gray there, great effort by her to try and get that ball and and uh, but Titans come away with the point and nine to six is the score. Lewis Central leads set three. Back to serve is Strohmeyer. Anna Strohmeyer into the back row to Siebenecker. Bond. Set to Gray, hits it across, cross-court shot, but it's out. Point, Titans, 10-6 is the score, that's Titans a, lead. That's an aggressive serve we're seeing there from uh, Strohmeyer here tonight. Anna Strohmeyer, senior, serve into the back row to Siebenecker. There's Bond, hit by Boswell across the net. Holt passes it to Larson, set to Haverman. She hits it hard. Whew. Yeah, she hits it hard. That's a that's an aggressive serve, like I said, coming there from number 12, Anna Strohmeyer. Kind of just a, uh, I think I used the term frozen rope the other night and caught you off guard just a little bit. You did, yeah. yeah. It's a uh, it's a hard it's a hard ball coming from the the cross court side. Serve this time, Strohmeyer out. Just Chase a little up. long there. Point yep. point goes to the Tigers. 11 to seven, Titans lead into the game. Joint, and back to serve is Joint. Boswell takes the seat. Joint serve into the back row. Strohmeyer passes up the net. Larson hit by Osdemore. Siebenecker passes it to the net. Set goes to Gray over on the left side. And the Titans That's get. going to be a Tiger point there with, uh, with uh, it's divider. the divider. Yeah, the divider coming down there. It's 11 to eight, Titans lead joint back to serve once again. Into the back row, Strohmeyer, Larson, set to Haverman. Out, yes. out, point Tigers. All right. 11 to nine. Lewis Central leads, set three. Larson, again, a great setter for the Titans, covering a lot of ground there. Into the back row, Holt. 
Larson sets Haverman, and this time kept Keeping by the ball Ramirez. Alive. Yeah. Hit across by Gray. Into the back row, Strohmeyer to Larson, set to Osdemore. Larson sets Jones. She pushes it to the back row. There is Joint right at the net. Tap down. Hit across by Ramirez. Larson sets Haverman again. Sells yeah. long. Point Tigers. Yeah, great aggressive volley by both teams there. Uh, super exciting to see the Tigers pull away with that and close this uh, set number three here to win within one point. The 11 to 10 is our score. Lewis Central leads <coughs> set three. Back to serve is Alexis Joint. Low and into the net, point Titans, 12 to 10. Tigers have been relatively error-free from the service line. Yeah, tonight, tonight, tonight overall. for sure, definitely uh, doing a great job from the service line. Just haven't been able to capitalize a whole lot on long runs. Holt back to serve. There's Bond. Hit across this time by Bond. Strohmeyer hits it, falls. Holt keeps it alive, pushed across by Larson to Jenkins. Set to Ramirez, she hits it hard. Larson is there. Holt with the set to Haverman, she hits it across to Bond. Now joint set goes to Gray over on the left side. Haverman keeps it alive. Pushed across by Larson to the back row. Set to Jenkins. Point, Tiger, yeah, Carly good, Jenkins. Good job by Carly to just swing away there on that one, and it goes off the blockers of the Titans. Point to the Tigers, and we're still here back within uh, one point, keeping it close here in set number three. Back to serve is Gray now, 12 to 11. Lewis Central leads set three. Gray jump serve from the right side, low and into the net. You know, we shouldn't have commented on that whole service <laughs> error uh, uh, statistic. That's what, and That's what happens. 13 to 11 now, Lewis Central lead. I am a I'm a superstitious I person. If you didn't if you didn't know that, I have noticed. Back to serve Erickson. Haley Erickson into the back row to Bond. Set goes to Ramirez. Hit hard. Holt gets under it. Erickson set to Larson over on the right side. Sells long point Tigers. It's Thirteen to twelve. Into the game O'Neill taking seat Jenkins. Back to serve Bond for Reto. Nicole Bond serve. Received by Haverman. Erickson set to Roenfeld. She hits it across. Hit across by Ramirez. Yes. Good job. And Ramirez goes right to the sideline with it at the point. And we're tied up at 13. Looks like Coach Bond wants to talk about it here for the Titans. And the we'll Tigers on a great run. We'll take it with him. Tied up at 13 apiece in set number three right back after this. Too busy at work to wait in a long line at Subway? Order online at order.subway.com. Simply register with your email and password and order away. You can also download the Subway app on your smartphone. Order up to six subs, salads, or pizza. Ready in 15 minutes once order is submitted. Also add chips, cookies, and drinks easily. And Subway's back to normal hours, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 11 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Order online at Subway in Red Oak, Clarinda, Shenandoah, Welcome back to welcome back to Red Oak. Tied up at 13 apiece in set number three. Nicole Wan back to serve for the Tigers. Holt passes to Erickson, set to Haverman. She taps it across. There's Ramirez to joint. Set goes to Jones. She hits a hard point. Tigers. Tigers regain the lead now. 14-13. Great job by the Tigers to find, you know, keep keep digging and find a way to uh, get the points on the board there. Lewis Central not attacking the ball, leaving the door open for the Tigers to transition. And again, another another kill for Keeley on the night. Serve from on into the back row. Strohmeyer to Erickson, set to Larson over on. 
<laughs> left side. That's a hard hit ball right there. Yeah, she, at the 14. She's uh, she clearly is great at hitting and also setting. She's kind of a, a complete volleyball player there, and that was as close to a 10 foot hit as you can you can get. Back to serve Haverman, tied up at 14. Ashlyn Haverman serves from the right side in the back row to Bond. Kind of shanks off it awkwardly, but free ball across the net by Bond. Set to Ronfeld, hit hard, kept alive by Joint. Set to Jones, block. Man, credit to the Tigers on some good scrappy defense there and just unfortunately not being able to come away with a, a point. Lewis Central just all over, all over the block there for the Tigers. And it's 15-14, Lewis Central leads. Back to serve again is Ashlyn Haverman. Ramirez to joint, set to Ramirez on the right side. Holt is there, Erickson set to Roenfeld in. Nice shot there by Matty Roenfeld. Got yeah, just a great little quick by Lewis Central to their middle there, kind of up in the tempo for the Titans and catching the Tigers off guard. And it's 16-14. Lewis Central leads, Haverman back to serve. Again from the right side, low taps the top ribbon. Ramirez gets under it, set to O'Neill, blocked at the net, and it's 17-14. Lewis Central leads now, set number three, and they lead two sets to none on the evening. Here we go. Back to serve again, Ashlyn Haverman, having a nice run from the service line. Haverman is. DeVries receives. Up front set goes to Jones. Hits oh. it straight to the back corner. Man, that was uh, it was like a good off-speed pitch. Just kind of knuckleballed across the across the court and dove down in bounds. <laughs> just uh, there's the corner, boom, and I dove right into I it. I would love to. Wow, love to see who's controlling the remote control of the ball on that one. Wow. So, 17-15 is the score. Lewis Central leads. Set number three. Back to serve Ramirez. Into the back corner to Haverman up front. Erickson tapped across by just great corner awareness there by Larson. Man, just to be able to hang in the air and then shove that ball almost parallel with the net. I mean, that's that's an advantage of, you know, juniors and seniors on the floor there, just kind of having that experience to do that. Good by Roenfeld into the back row to DeVries. Set to O'Neill. We're going to have a Titan point. Four hits by the Tigers. 19-15 is our score. Back to serve again is Roenfeld, 19-15. Titans lead set three. Roenfeld serve, received by Bond to Ramirez. Set to Jones. Point Titans, 20-15. Angie wants a timeout here. Talk about it and uh, hopefully get the Tigers to regroup just a little bit. And we'll take that time out with them and be right back after this. Back to Red Oak and set number three, Lewis Central has opened up 20, a lead 20 to 15 now here in set number three. Lewis Central leads two sets to none, 25-23, 25-9, and third set 20-15 is our current score. Lewis Central leads. We do have severe thunderstorm warnings for parts of western Iowa at this point. Serves from Roenfeld into the back row. Two far point Tigers. Nice job by Nicole Bond. Yeah, great. Uh, I mean, that was a close, close serve by Roenfeld there too. And she's she's done that a couple of times here for the for the uh, uh, for the Titans and being able to uh, stretch out just a little bit of lead when she's at the service line. Serve from Siebenecker, received by Haverman up front. Set to Strohmeyer. Ramirez sets Gray over on the left side. 
Marley Gray finds the open yeah. spot. Good job by Marley, finding the seam, swinging and, and having confidence in uh, being able to pound the ball down, point to the Tigers. And it's 20 to 17. Siebenecker back to serve into the back row again. Haverman, Holt passes it up to Larson. There's Bond. So that goes to Gray over on the left side again. Holt to Erickson, set to Strohmeyer. It's out. out. Big hit by Strohmeyer, just misses out though. Big hit, Lewis Central had a, a lot of time to figure out what they wanted to do with that. And uh, big hit, but fortunately just sailed out of bounds. 20 to 18 is the score. Lewis Central leads, this time set to Osdemore. Point, Titans. 21-18, into the game. Jones taking seat. Erickson back to serve Larson for the Titans. Here we go, jump serve Larson. Received by Siebenecker, set to Gray. Out. And point, oh. Titans. How was that? I guess the up ref said it was point to the Titans. So I'm not going to question there that one. 22-18 is the score. Lewis Central leads. Serves Larson. Taps the top ribbon, but Bond gets under it. Set to O'Neill. Block and point. Red Oak. 22-19. Lewis Central leads. Back to serve Jocelyn O'Neill. Jocelyn's a sophomore. Serve into the back row. Holt passes it to Larson. Set to Jones. Hits it across and misses out. Point Tigers. 22-20. Lewis Central leads. Set three. Tigers have to win to keep it going. Lewis Central would like to see the victor to be finished for the night. Yes, they would, but uh, you know, hopefully the Tigers can just pull enough here to keep it keep it going for us. And and it's 22-20. What's the discussion here, Derek? I, I think I think he's upset that maybe it wasn't a tip call, and I, I think that was close. Um, but back to serve O'Neill into the back row. Holt to Larson, set to Jones, dug out by Siebenecker. Ramirez sets Gray. Point Tigers. 22-21. 22 Titans 21. want a timeout here. Timeout on the court. And we will keep it right here. Earlier this evening in freshman play, it was Red Oak over Lewis Central, 25-14, 25-23. In junior varsity play, it was Red Oak over Lewis Central, 23-25, 25-21, 15-11, Red Oak wins 2-1. Lewis Central in varsity play leads two sets to none, 25-23, 25-9. We're in set three, and it's a one-point lead for the Titans, 22-21. Now the Tigers, it was 20-15. Tigers have uh, managed to get back into this here. Must win for the Tigers to the, stay alive. The Tigers have done that before against Lewis Central. I remember uh, remember a couple of years ago, home game, uh, Lennon, when Lennon was a senior, we went down two early sets and came back and won that game here early in the Hawkeye 10 season when Lewis Central was at Red Oak. So here we go, O'Neill back to serve for Red Oak. 22-21, serves from O'Neill, see by Holt, Larson, Set to Osdemore, and point Titans off of the hands of the Tigers, 23-21. Back to serve Strohmeyer. Anna Strohmeyer for the Titans. Serve received by Seaman after a serve. It's set point, it's match point, 24-21. Strohmeyer back to serve. 24-21, serve from Strohmeyer, left side into the back row, Siebenecker to Ramirez, set to Jenkins. Strohmeyer keeps it alive, set to Jones. She pushes it to the back row. 
Vaughn sets Boswell. She hits it across. Kept alive. Free ball across the net. Holt to Siebenecker. Ramirez set to Boswell over on the right side. And the Titans just have to get a free ball across the net. Set to Gray. It's in. Yeah, Point. good. Great volley right there. I was holding my breath the whole time, and uh, Red Oak keeping it alive. Marley Gray doing a good job there, swinging away, finding the open spot on the court with authority, too. 24 to 22, Titans lead. Back to serve is joint for Red Oak. A serve, serve by joint, 24-23. Titans lead. Here we go. Alexis Joint serve into the back row. Holt to Larson, set to Hav Haverman. Points in, that's it. 25-23 is your final. 25-23, that was a tough one. Tough match, I mean. 25-23, and the first set was what there? 25-23. 25-23, and then you had the middle set. So, I mean, Tigers can be proud of how they played against a tough, tough Hawkeye 10 opponent. You know, a top top 10 ranked team. I think there's five or six there in 4A. Uh, they played them, played them really hard, and I saw a lot of things I liked there. Yeah. Just couldn't quite... You couldn't quite get that extra little oomph they needed, and I think, uh, you know, when you looked at the stats, that's that's something you saw there, just Lewis Central just edged out in every category, and I think that's uh, kind of what we're seeing here yeah. as a result tonight. We're going to take a break, and we will be back after this. It's Lewis Central with the victory in three straight, 25-23, 25-9, 25-23, and we'll be back after these messages.
We had much better energy and yeah. stuck to where our game plan was and what we needed to do. But, yeah, I mean, and um, Coach Bond, Lewis Central is, I mean, they're worth every bit of their ranking as far as um, in 4A. I mean, it's they're a tough blocking team. I mean, I think most of our hitting errors – we had a few in and out or in the net and out, but most of them were errors just into the block, which, yeah. you know, that's that's tough. They're big. So so I would say, too, like I, I mentioned to your girls there, that's a really good team across the net. Yes. Yeah. I mean, th- there was yeah. I would take it's a three set, but I I would take a lot of positives from the game tonight. I would yeah. Think. And like I said, was going to say Coach Bond at the net. Um, I have a lot of respect for him and what he does out there. And and he <laughs> kind of grabbed my face and he just said, like, how have you guys lost to other t- like every other team? He said like those two sets were probably the most competitive that they've been played, and yeah. them playing he thought at probably their best really. Like so, yeah. you know, I thought, well, thanks, Mike, thanks for <laughs> thanks for not like pulling out your your errors or whatever tonight. I appreciate that, but um, and I told that to the kids because it's easy for them to want to hang their head and say, oh, we lost in three, but you know, this is the time of year where that is an excellent loss for us. Yeah. It's an excellent loss because it showed us what what we were weak in. We need to look at those big, long runs that they made against us um, and how we can side out faster in those. I mean, it showed us exactly what we need going into um, our last two conference games and our mm-hmm. last big tournament. So you have. So let's look at stats for tonight. Yeah. What do you have, Coach, mm-hmm. that you see there? Um, well, I thought Keeley stepped up big tonight. Um, she played – Definitely not like a freshman. And one right. of the things we said in the huddle, too, is, you know, we are we are a team of six players out on that court. And when um, we're not going to be perfect every night, we're not even going to be good every night. You're going to have nights where you get blocked and where they know exactly what you're going to do. And I thought she came and stepped up um, in times when maybe some of our other hitters who normally are kind of our go-tos and efficiency and things just just w- weren't i mean obviously there's a reason that good teams key on your best players yeah i mean and you look at someone like jocelyn with the efficiency that she has i absolutely if i were them i would have been to putting two people on her all night and yeah. that's what they did same thing with marley so that what what does that do that opens up opportunities for those other hitters and i just said to him that's why we are so well-rounded you know, a team with only one big hitter, you know, you get shut down right. at that point. Right. So um, just really, really thought she did great. She had 10 kills. Um, Marley had seven. Merced had six. Liv and Carly both added two. And Jocely at, Jocely? Jocelyn <laughs> added one um, on kills. Um, Nicole had 13 digs for us. Uh, Lex had an ace. We had a couple assist blocks out there. Um, and just, I thought... One of the things I thought our kids did really well tonight was, I mean, we changed up our defense um, like we do most nights as, you know, as much as we could. So, I mean, they just continue to impress me with their versatility and their yeah. ability to, to move things around when things aren't going their way. So that, Tonight was fun, Coach. It was, and I that's mean, what I told them. Like, even when they were, you know, when we were tied up at 23-all or 22-all, like, I said, like, this is fun. Yeah. This is great stuff. Yeah. Like, and when we did great stuff in those in those runs. Absolutely. So, yep. Who do we have Thursday night? Uh, Thursday, we have Clorinda coming here. Um, we should get our pairings for regionals tomorrow. I think Ooh. they're coming. So, okay. Um, we, you know, we kind of expect that our little foursome of Hawkeye 10 schools are probably going to have to, um, you know, fight it out, fight it out. Exactly. (laughs) So, um, with, let's see, Creston being 4A, I'm guessing Atlantic Harlan, I think they're 3A. Us and Clorinda will probably be those first two games. Um, we're fighting for home court advantage. That would be fantastic. And of course we know. Um, Clorinda's a great team. They mm-hmm. didn't lose much from last year. They're having a great season, um, and they ended ours last year. So I, I expect our kids to come out, and, you know, we're not going to show them everything we've got because, you know, with any luck, we may be playing them, you yeah. know, a couple weeks from Thursday in uh, a second-round game potentially. So, you know, I, I love this time of year. Um, we're pulling out, pulling out new things and, um, you know, staying aggressive and – we're just not ready for it to be done. Well, so we're going to keep there's, pushing. There's still a lot of volleyball, Coach. I know. I know. That's it's so. just, yeah, crazy. Coach Montgomery, thanks for coming to visit with me. I appreciate it. Of course. It. Thank you. We'll see you Thursday night. See you Thursday night. Make it a good one. Head coach of the Red Oak Tigers, Angie Montgomery, with us. Thank you, Coach Montgomery.